here at Air Venture Oshkosh, we want to talk about a different kind of show. This one's a great one. We all love Air Venture, but you know what? It's got one problem. It's in the eastern half of the country. There's not much going on in the western part of the country. All due respect to those that do uh, various shows, there's not any kind of big events out there that come to my mind right away, except that's changing now. I'm Dan Johnson. I'm going to get a chance to talk to Robert Goyer, the editor of Flying Magazine, which everybody knows, but you've got another little wrinkle in the uh, opportunities for Flying Magazine now, and it involves a thing called the Flying Aviation Expo. Tell us a little bit about what that was in its beginning and some of what its goals have been. Yeah, no, thanks, Dan. Uh, the Flying Aviation Expo is something that we did starting last year. Uh, 2014 was our first uh, edition of the Flying Aviation Expo. And uh, we decided to do it for exactly that reason, that the West Coast was just a prime opportunity to work with some great customers, to give our readers a chance to interact with us, but also to give some of our best friends in the industry, uh, you know, the, the airframers, people who produce avionics and pilot supplies and all that, a chance to reach out and, and see some of the great customers out there. One of the, the uh, prime sponsors of Aviation Expo, Flying Aviation Expo, is Aircraft Spruce. And they're out there in California and they have to come back to Wisconsin or Florida to reach their customers. So it just seemed like a natural to us. Well, it sure did. And, uh, you know, when, when I was out there last year for it, I was impressed with the, the quality of the uh, execution of the show was very good. It's clearly uh, the folks that uh, uh, their name will lose me right at the minute. The event. Lift, lift, lift event management lift event. That's and what Urban was. Expo is also. They partner on it. Yeah, so when I was out there last year and uh, joined you at the uh, Flying Aviation Expo. Thank I you was, for doing I, that, Howard. I was way, terribly yeah. impressed with uh, the, the execution of the show. You know, it's kind of one of those background things and we're used to it, how well EAA does it here at AirVenture. And people think it just sort of happens. It doesn't at all. So lift event management uh, was did. I thought they did spectacularly well at all the preparation. The whole thing was just done excellently, which is I can't say that for every air show I go to. No, that's very true. And lift is it's not their first time at the air rodeo. You know they it they actually like produced a, they produced a number of big aviation shows in the past. They're really good at it. I agree. And we were lucky to have them as partners along with uh, Urban Expos. Uh, they they really know what they're doing. They get great speakers. They produce the events beautifully, and they partner with us in a way that shows that they know that we're the aviation experts and they're the event planning experts. And between all of us, we were able to pull off a really good show, and, and this year's show is going to be even better. It seemed like a really harmonious marriage, it you know, was, one of those yeah. things that came together very neatly and nicely in quite a short time. So now they've had a whole year to plan ahead, and it's at one of my favorite places for a show. Uh, I've always been kind of partial to that Palm Springs Convention Center. The whole thing with the airplanes taxiing down the street, right, we get that people lining of the street yeah. and watching all the airplanes come in. But then once the show starts, okay, you're in a convention hall at Palm Springs. You walk outside and there's airplanes. There's airplanes, yeah. And, it's, and the other thing is that at Palm Springs, you walk outside and you're a block away from great dining experiences, entertainment and nightlife. It's, it's really, I agree with you, I love Palm Springs events. And we're real lucky to be able to get the convention center for our show. The open tonight party promises to be terrific. Again, it's going to be right there at the airport, at the Air Museum, uh, where there are huge numbers of just beautiful vintage warbirds and great music and and great food and, and of course the most important part, great company, pilots and hanging out with other pilots. And we saw this as being just a way to fill in the gaps to give folks out in the West Coast a really great aviation experience. And so yeah. It's got the LA Basin right there uh, with, with more pilots and more airplanes than any other state in the country and the whole western states and mm -hmm. uh, it's just a great collecting spot. But it's also a good time of year in October, uh, Palm Springs, big beautiful mountains right behind the exhibit center there. Uh, it's just a great time of year to be there and a nice time for people to fly in and go there or drive in and go there, however they get there. Um, and it is a great place to fly also. Um, the, the scenery is phenomenal. It's a great airport with great FBOs. And like you said, it's so easy to get back and forth to the airport, the convention center in downtown. It's an absolutely ideal venue. We're really lucky to be there. Yeah, the downtown area there where uh, we went to restaurants there every night. I mean, there is, wow, wow. It's a, quite a selection of restaurants. A lot of cool artifacts and other things to see there, and all the while this beautiful mountain backdrop. To, but why does a pilot want to go there? What, what's, what's he going to find when he gets there? What kind of airplanes? What kind of exhibitors? What kind of forums? Those kinds of things. Uh, as far as the the pilot content is concerned, uh, it's going to be just off the off the rails great. 
we have uh, a number of exhibitors there. More, we were hoping to have almost double the number of exhibitors really? this year wow. over last year. And we have a, a tremendous number of forums and seminars and panel discussions. You were in one last year, Dan. That's right. That was on fun. Disruptive technology. We had some of the, the leading names in the industry, including yourself, there to talk about the way aviation is changing. This year, we're going to have more of the same. We've got a. Um, a pilot proficiency center for both IFR and VFR pilots right in the middle of the show. People can go, cool. pilots can go and they can fly, get, get instruction from NAFI and safe pilots, have live ATC while they're doing it, fly these really cool scenarios, all for free. Jeppesen is going to be sponsoring the, the center and they're going to be having tech talks. IMC Club is going to be there. It's going to be a, just a phenomenal number of really exciting learning experiences for pilots. We've got seminars on iPads, on mountain flying, on weather questions. Weather for dummies is one I'm really looking forward to. <laughs> so just a tremendous number of those things. Plus we've got a lot of exhibitors there. So if you're looking for a new handheld or some oxygen equipment or you need a new tire, I mean anything. We've got a large number of exhibitors there with cool stuff to sell, with presentations of their own too. There's going to be just a ton of stuff for pilots to do when they get there. At Palm Springs, how many airplanes were outside last year? What do you expect for this year? It's different. We're, the convention center is going to be ringed with airplanes. If you want to see airplanes, it's going to take you about a 30 second walk to get out to them. <laughs> and we're going to have everything from, from jets to tail draggers with big tires. It's going to be a great mix of things. And uh, it's, there are going to be airplanes that people want to see. They're going to be the factory reps there to tell you all about them. And if you're lucky, you might be able to schedule a demo ride later on in the day in one of them. So all the toys, all the information that pilots want, but you know, a lot of times the family, it's Palm Springs. I mean, it's a nice place to go. Uh, what are some things that you might, the family might want to go do after they get a little tired of looking at airplanes and hearing about iPad apps? For the families, there's just a wealth of things to do also. Palm Springs is a great destination for families. When there's no aviation event going on, a lot of families go out there. One of my favorite things to do is to ride the aerial tramway up to the top of Mount San Jacinto and go into a completely different ecosphere up there, up with, you've got you have huge pine trees looking out. 100 miles in any direction from yeah, it's like 10,000 feet high or something too. It's yeah, way it's up there. It's quite a bit cooler, and sweat. the tram ride itself is kind of fun. It's that's, a lot of fun. That's kind it of a trip kind to of do exciting. that. There's dirt bike riding, and there are museums, and for for uh, the the family members who want to do something more adult oriented, there are art museums. There are fantastic boutique stores. You can go to a day spa. I mean, there's no shortage of things for the rest of the family to do there. It's not going to be a question of finding something to do. It's going to be a question of deciding which one of the cool things to do. It was a pretty good slate of things <laughs> last year, and I noticed exactly that quality. Oh, well, there's three things I want to do in the same hour. i got to pick the one I like the most, I guess. So. I was in the same boat. Yeah. <laughs> so that's great. Well, a lot of wonderful information here, Robert. We look forward to number two of the... Flying Aviation Expo. Tell us how we can get more information for those folks that are looking on their computers here. Uh, give just, us a web address. Just go to flyingaviationexpo.com and, and check it out. It's in Palm Springs, California, October 15th through the 17th, and it's going to be special. October 15 to 17, right. 2015, number two of the Flying Aviation Expo. You can see Robert out there. He'll be smiling just like this, <laughs> along with thousands of other people. That's right. So come on out and see us all there. Sounds great. Thanks, Lots Dave. more information about the Flying Aviation Expo. I did some reporting there from last year and all kinds of affordable aviation available on bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for joining Flying Magazine Editor Robert Goyer and an old friend of mine from Flying right. Light Aircraft and myself here at AirVenture Oshkosh.